Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jack and this is a very special 20 minute or around 20 minute class that I'm making for my mom because she just had a knee replacement surgery. So if you can't put any weight on your knees, if you primarily have to do the class seated right now or on the back, this is a perfect class for you. So let's go ahead and get started in a comfortable cross-legged pose. And if you need to have your legs out a little bit or if you need to stretch your legs out, totally, totally fine. But close the eyes, sit up nice and tall, and I want you to imagine that you are stacking your head directly over your shoulders. So we tend to kind of jut the chin forward a little bit. So draw the ears back in line with the shoulders. Take the shoulders onto the back and feel that the chest is buoyant and light. Good, and then I want you to just connect to your breath for a few moments. Take a big inhale. And an open mouth exhale, release. Deep inhale. Open mouth exhale, release. One more of those, inhale. And open mouth, exhale, release. Good, now blink the eyes open, and we're gonna connect to the breath to some arm movements now. So inhale, reach the arms out wide and above the head, meet the palms. Exhale, bring the hands down through heart center. Good. Inhale, reach the arms out wide and above the head. Exhale, bring the hands down through heart center. Good. One more. Inhale, hands rise. And exhale, bring the hands down through heart center. Very nice. Good. From here, step the right hand off to the right. Reach the left arm by the ear and come into a little bit of a side bend and feel that you could really lengthen out through the left rib cage by bending the right elbow a little bit. Nice. Inhale, reach both the hands above the head, grow tall. Exhale, step the left hand down and off to the left. Reach the right arm by the ear. As you bend the left elbow, fan out through the right rib cage. Nice, and then inhale, sit up all the way. Good, from here, lean back, plant your hands down to the floor behind you, and I want you to face the fingers out. Good, now as you root down through the finger pads and the knuckles, stretch the legs out long and flex the feet. From here, I want you to press down through the hands, bend the elbows just a little bit, and send the triceps back towards one another. Now lift your head, and you should feel a little bit of a shoulder opener here. So I like to think of this weird imagery here that I'm just going to say, even though it's weird. Imagine like you're like one of those, you know those like the silhouette of those girls on the backs of trucks, and they're like sticking their chests out? That's what I want you to do here. <laughs> Give it a few more deep breaths. Nice, and then as you feel ready, walk your hands back in line with your hips. Keep your legs stretched out long. Inhale, reach the hands above the head. Exhale, just walk your hands forward along the legs as much as it feels okay. Now take a look at your feet, spread your toes, flex them, pull the toes towards the face. Nice, give it a few more deep breaths here. Each inhale, I want you to feel that you could lengthen your spine a little bit. Each exhale, maybe you soften just a little bit deeper into the fold. Don't be forceful or aggressive. Just let your body come to where it comes to. Nice. And then on your next inhale, sit up all the way. Now I want you to scoot yourself forward onto your mat, on your mat, and then lie all the way down onto the back. Now you're going to bring your arms to a cactus position and extend your right heel up towards the sky. Flex the right foot. Now I want you to play around with rotating your toes out and then in, but keep the legs straight, toes rotate out, and then toes rotate in. And you're just kind of 
feeling that movement all the way down in your hip as your hip bone rotates in the socket. Good, now keep the toes rotating out, bend the knee, and take the ankle to the left lower thigh. Now we're gonna pretend we have no arms for a moment, but lift your left foot off the mat, and I want you to draw the right ankle towards you, but press the right ankle into the left lower thigh. Good, keep flexing the right foot. Don't take your hands to your legs. Just do it without the arms today. Good, take the left foot back down to the floor. Extend the right heel back up to the sky. Now really slowly to engage the hip flexors a little bit. We're gonna lower the heel down halfway in line with the left thigh and then we're gonna bring the foot back up. Good, lower the leg down in line with the left thigh, and then rise back up. One more time, lower it down, but this time, lower all the way down and reach through the heel as much as you can, pull the toes towards you. Rebend your right knee, plant the right foot down onto the floor. Extend your left heel, up towards the sky. Make sure the leg is straight and strong. Now you're going to rotate your left toes out and then rotate them back in. Rotate the toes out and then rotate the toes in. One more time, rotate the toes out. Now this time keep it. Bend your left knee. Take the left ankle to your right lower thigh. Now no arms today. Lift your right foot off the floor and come into that gentle hip opener. It might be a little bit more than gentle. This might take a lot of strength as well, and that's okay. This is also a little bit of a core engagement practice. Now press the left ankle into your right lower thigh. Equally pull the thigh back up into the ankle. Give it two more deep breaths. Nice, and then from here, place the right foot down. Extend your left heel back up to the sky. Pull the toes down towards the face. Now lower the left thigh in line with the right thigh, and then bring the foot back up. Good, lower it down, and bring it back up on your exhale. Good, lower, and then go ahead and lift. Now this time, lower all the way down. Reach the left heel forward as far as you can. I want you to feel like that leg is growing longer and longer and longer. And then place the foot back down onto the floor. Nice. Now from here, walk the feet to opposite sides of the mat. So you're gonna step the feet out nice and wide. Now, if keeping the knees this bent hurts a little bit, I want you to walk your feet just a little bit more forward and let your, your knees just kind of buckle in towards one another. Your arms are still at a cactus, and now you're gonna windshield wiper the knees. So the knees, the feet have to be far apart to make this happen right. And then you're gonna let your knees fall to the right, and then you're gonna let the knees fall to the left. And just go back and forth from right to left. Now I want you to feel that the knee that falls in, the, so the knee at the inside on each side, reaches forward and tries to press an imaginary button directly in front of it. And that's gonna engage your glutes and your hip extensors a little bit. Nice, continue to go back and forth. Nice, and then from here, go ahead and plant the feet back down to the mat, hips distance apart. I want you to press the feet down and scoot your butt about two inches off to the left. Draw the knees up towards the chest. The arms are still out wide, and then on your exhale, let your knees fall towards the right. Take your right hand to the outside of the left thigh, reach the left arm off to the left. Make it long, try to firm the back of the left shoulder down. And let's take a few more deep breaths. Good, inhale, come back to center, bring your arms to a T. Plant the feet down, scoot your hips off to the right a little bit. Nice, and then from here, go ahead and draw the knees up and let your knees fall towards the left. Take the left hand to the outside of the right thigh, 
reach the right arm off towards the right and firm the back of the shoulder down. Good. So this is getting all the way up into the back, the shoulders, maybe even the outer hips. Give it two more deep breaths. Good, and then inhale, come back to center. Place the feet back down onto the mat and scoot your hips back into the center. Now from here, bring your arms by your sides, face the palms down. I want you to keep the heels under your knees. Now take an inhale, press the feet down and lift your hips, squeeze your glutes. This is all about the glutes. Good, exhale, lower down. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift and squeeze your glutes. You have buns of steel. And exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, lift. Now stay lifted. Drive through the heels. Drive, drive, drive. Squeeze your glutes. Lift a little bit higher. And then exhale, lower all the way down. Bring the bottoms of the feet together and let your knees fall out wide. Take one hand to your belly and one hand to your heart. We'll take a big inhale into the belly. And an open mouth exhale, release. Deep inhale into the belly, the side ribs, the chest. And open mouth exhale, let go of anything that's not supporting you right here in this moment right now. Good, one more, inhale. And open mouth, exhale, release. Nice, now from here, place the feet back down onto the mat. We're gonna sit up for a second. So roll to your side, use your hands, your arms to sit all the way up. And then I want you to stretch your legs out wide. Good. So once the legs are wide, go ahead and take your right knee and just bend it in so that the right shin is fairly parallel to the top line of your mat or just in front of you. Good. And then from there, inhale, reach the hands above the head, flex the right foot. Exhale, walk your hands forward just as much as it feels okay. A few things I want you to check in on is your left foot flexed. Can you press the outer right shin down into the floor? Now I want you to just kind of rock side to side a little bit here. Feel this in your outer hips, your glutes. Nice, and then sit up all the way. Stretch the right leg out long. Bend your left knee and take your left shin about parallel to the top line of the mat or just in front of you. Good, inhale, reach the hands above the head. Exhale, forward fold to the best of your ability. So right foot is flexed, that means the toes are pulling back towards you. You're pressing the left shin down, and then you're just gonna kind of rock side to side. Nice, now sit up all the way. Find a nice, comfortable cross-legged pose. And we're gonna get a little bit into the upper back and the neck, because if you're experiencing stuff down the back, it potentially has to do with other spaces in the body. So inhale, reach the arms out wide and lift your chest. Exhale, take the right arm in, wrap your left forearm around your right forearm. Now I want you to press the right forearm into the left forearm, but equally pull the left forearm back into the right arm. Now let your left ear fall towards your left shoulder. So make sure you're getting that right. Left ear towards left shoulder. Draw the top of your right shoulder down. Nice, and then bring your head back up. Inhale, reach the arms out wide. Broaden the chest, say, Jack, I'm flying, like we're watching the Titanic. Good, and then take the left arm in, wrap your right forearm around your left forearm. Draw the top of the left shoulder down. Press your left arm into your right arm. Let your right ear fall towards your right shoulder. It might feel good to rock the head forward or back a little bit, but just be gentle as you breathe into the outer left shoulder.
Nice, and then bring the head all the way up. Now I want you to attempt to grab opposite forearms or elbows behind your back. So just walk your hands as close as you can towards one another, and then try to pull your arms apart. So as if you didn't have hands, your arms would just fling open. But I want you to feel that you're really holding on nice and tight, and that helps draw the shoulders onto the back. Good, now as you sit up nice and tall, let your left ear fall towards your left shoulder. Don't be forceful here, even if it's like kind of, you know, feels like you need to be, don't. Just be soft and gentle. Turn the left, excuse me, turn the chin down towards the left shoulder. Maybe rock the chin forward towards the chest. Nice, and then bring your head back up to center. Let your right ear fall towards your right shoulder. Keep sitting up nice and tall. Lengthen the left side of the neck. Turn the chin down towards the right shoulder. Maybe towards the chest. And then bring your head all the way back up. Good. Now undo that with the arms. Inhale, shrug the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, draw the shoulders back and down. One more time, inhale. And exhale, shoulders back and down. Very nice. From here, take left hand to right knee, right hand behind you, and just twist to the best of your ability towards the right. Sit up nice and tall, take the ears back in line with the shoulders. So each inhale, you lengthen crown of the head to the sky. Each exhale, you potentially twist a little bit deeper. Good, inhale, come back to center. Exhale, take your right hand to your left knee and your left hand behind you. Sit up nice and tall. Breathe. So the left arm is like a supporting second spine. Try not to put too much weight into it though. Good, inhale, come back to center. And then once again, for the last time, you're gonna lie back down onto your back. So take your time to get there. And then I want you to just re-bend your knees and we're gonna do that windshield wiper action one more time. So walk the feet a little bit wider and then bring your arms to a cactus and just go back and forth here with the knees. Feel that as you go back and forth, you let the knees fall all the way over into their full range of motion that the knee that falls in towards the center is as pressing forward as if it's pressing a button. That would give you an instant espresso. Nice, and then from here, bring your feet back to hips distance apart. Extend your right heel up towards the sky. Turn the toes out, turn the toes in. Feel that the rotation can get a little bit more each time. Toes out, toes in, toes out, Toes in, toes out, bend your right knee. Take the right ankle to the left lower thigh. No arms, lift the left foot off the mat. Press the right ankle into the left lower thigh. Feel this stretch in the hip. Good, take the left foot down, take the right foot down. Extend your left heel up towards the sky. Turn the toes out and turn the toes in. The leg is fully straight the whole time. Turn the toes out and turn the toes in. Turn the toes out, and turn the toes in. Good, turn the toes out, bend the left knee. Take your right foot off the mat as you take left ankle to right lower thigh, come into that figure four shape. Nice. And then take the foot back down to the floor. Very nice. From here, go ahead and just stretch your legs out all the way. Reach your hands towards the back of the mat. Point the toes. Reach, reach, reach like you're in some sort of medieval torture device and you're about to be ripped in half. And then on your exhale, relax the arms down by the sides. Let the toes roll out. Shrug the shoulders down and away from your ears. Now you're gonna take a big inhale. Open mouth, exhale, release. This time we're gonna hold it. Big inhale, fill the lungs. 
Pause, hold the air in at the top. You got this. Three, two, one. Open mouth, exhale. Release all of the air from the lungs. Good. So you're welcome to stay in this resting Shavasana for as long as you would like. This is well-deserved time. Uh, I hope your body's feeling a little bit better. More classes to come. And I'll see you next time, friends. Namaste.